How about them Rockets, people? How about them Houston Rockets? Student of the Game Podcast. I'm your host, Tavares. Back. All right. The Houston Rockets, If you, in case you haven't, if you didn't know, the Houston Rockets, Those. that's my only basketball team that I generally root for historically, okay? I rooted for other teams before while I also rooted for the Rockets, but consistently, I've always been a diehard Rockets fan. And for the most part of the year, we have been dying pretty hard as far as basketball terms, all right? Professional basketball terms. All right. I mean the Rockets they're on a twenty went on a twenty game losing streak. Like, man. And I was just I was getting very, very irritated because if you remember back in two thousand and seven, the Houston Rockets they went on a twenty two game winning streak. Okay, and I'm like, man, this this is gonna be too sad. This is gonna be very humiliating if my Houston Rockets lose 22 games in a row, okay? You know, the number 22 is supposed to mean something special in the city of Houston. Clyde the Glide Drexler, number 22. Houston Rockets won 22 games in a row. We can't, uh, we cannot associate the number 22 with a 22-game losing streak, all right? And thank God the Rockets prevailed tonight by defeating the Toronto Raptors, okay? Man, Great win for them. Great win, Rockets. Great win. All right, now here's the thing. I get it. It's not the championship or whatever, but guess what? You know how they say you're going to party like it's 1999? Well, guess what? Houston Rockets fans, we're going to party like it's 1995. You remember what happened in 1995, Houston Rockets fans? That's when we swept the Orlando Magic, led by Shaquille O'Neal, Penny Hardaway, Nick Anderson, Dennis Scott, and Horace Grant, okay? We're going to party like it's that. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Okay, I get it. I know it's not a real championship, but guess what? Hey, nobody wants to lose 21 games in a row. Nobody wants to lose 22 games in a row. And I thank God that my team didn't. Okay, I have no problem with my team tanking to try to get the number one pick, but let's not lose 20 games in a row again. All right. Also, shout out to Coach Steven Silas. Listen, man, it's it's already hard enough for a black man to for a book for African-American to become a head coach in the NBA, okay? The leash is very, very short on an African-American coach, all right? It is, all right? Proven fact. But it it, it wasn't going to look good if they continue to lose games and lose games, and then at the end of the season, even if they get a top three pick, he's he's going to be on the hot seat, okay? Here's the thing. You got young talent on this team. You got some young players in Martin and in Porter Jr. Well, I'm sorry, Kenyon Martin Jr., okay, and Tatum and stuff. And you know what? Let those guys play, okay? We got Christian Wood back. But I'm hoping that Tillman Fertitta, I'm hoping he rides it out with Coach Steve, head coach Steven Silas. Because here's the thing, man. I can't blame Steven Silas all the way for this stuff because here's – check this out. When he became the coach for the Houston Rockets, this team had two Hall of Famers on it, James Harden and Russell Westbrook, okay? You know, at at worst at worst case scenario, people felt like this at that time this team they will get to the playoffs and they will lose in the second round, okay? Or in or game 7 first round depending on who the matchup. And I thought, okay, well, once they traded um, Westbrook and they unfortunately they traded away James Harden, I'm thinking this team was going to be like the 2009 Houston Rockets. You remember where they had a young Kyle Lowry, Aaron Brooks, Luis Scola, um, who am I missing? Carl Landry, um, um, uh, what's my t- no no Samuel Dallenberg. Yeah, I remember him. Shane Battier. Okay, you know I'm Joey Dorsey. <laughs> okay, um, Goin Dragic. Okay, so I'm thinking this team is going to be a squad like that where they win like 44 games and stuff and they could potentially get the number eighth or seventh seed or something like that. And it was competitive every game. And the only games they really lost were against the actual championship contender type teams. Okay, but this team here is it's not hitting. I mean, you got a lot of injuries, got a lot of pieces. It seems like Victor Oladipo doesn't doesn't even want to be here. And I get it. I understand. You know, he's trying to win a championship, and Houston is not where he can win a championship right now. I understand that. I have no problem. The feeling's mutual if he doesn't want to be here, okay? And I also heard a rumor that Aaron Gordon, 
Like, he kind of, he pretty much scoffed the, at the idea of coming to the Rockets. Okay, guess what, Aaron Gordon? Don't worry. It's not the first time that a player from Orlando has scoffed at the Rockets and stuff when the trade line was approaching. As a matter of fact, the player, you're not even half as good as that player was that was in Orlando. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Dwight Howard. I'm, I'm not sure if y'all remember back in like 2008, 2009-ish, was it 2011? About 10 years ago, the Houston Rockets was pursuing Dwight Howard very, very hard, okay? And he declined to trade to go to the Rockets. And he said if he went to the Rockets, he would not sign an extension, okay? And this was, matter of fact, it had to have been like 2011, 2012-ish because um, Yao Minga got hurt. I think that was in 2010. Yeah, Yao Minga got hurt and he had to retire, career ending injury, unfortunately. But... Hey, Aaron Gordon, the feeling's mutual, bro. The feeling's mutual. You can jump high. I guess you can rebound and stuff. But, hey, you, you're not my favorite player. All right? You know Akeem Olajuwon. You know Yao Ming. You know Clyde Drexler. You are no T-Mac. You are no Stevie Franchise. You are no Coutinho Mobley. You are no James Harden. You are no Dwight Howard when he was a Rocket. You are not Chris Paul. You are none of those dudes. You're not Russell Westbrook. You're not P.J. Tucker. You're not Robert Ory. So, whatever. You, you know, if you don't want to be with us, fine. All right. But um, Coach Silas, man, I'm glad that he got this victory, man. You know, Stephen A. Smith was talking about on first take that he doesn't believe that Coach Stephen Silas is going to get another head coaching job after this. I don't want to believe that, but I do feel like part of that is true. I don't want to believe it, okay? I want to be proven wrong on that. I'm a Steven Silas fan. I was a big fan of his dad, Paul Silas. Brilliant coach, brilliant basketball mind. He has over 20 years of experience in this game. All right? So let's cut him a break. I mean, Tillman Fertitta didn't do him any service, okay? I think the Rockets' ownership has been like, what's the word I'm looking for? Not very good for the past, for the at least for the past year. OK, it has not been very good. All right. So we can't fire owners. And the way I look at it, hey, give Tillman for T. I'm excuse me. Give Steven Silas. Give him at least two years, at least two years. All right. Let's see what he can do in the draft going into free agency. And also, hey, he needs time to implement his system, but his system on the team. But I am so glad that the Rockets got this victory today, man. I'm proud of them, you know. I know it's small, but guess what? This team has been going through a lot of turmoil this year. I mean, we haven't seen anything like this in a long time, you know, when you're a Houston Rockets fan. Like, we're used to seeing stuff like this with the Houston Texans, but we're not used to seeing the Houston Rockets like this. We're not. We're not. I know I'm not. And hopefully this doesn't last long, you know. I remember growing up in church, there was a song called, I'm so glad trouble don't last always. I cannot see by a long shot, all right? But that stays in my mind whenever I'm going through hard times and stuff. And I hope that stays in the Houston Rockets fans' mind and the Houston Rockets players and those who support the organization's mind. That And guess what? Trouble doesn't last always, all right? It doesn't last always. Stay at it, Houston Rockets, and hey, you know what? We just had a 20-game losing streak. Guess what? Let's, you know what? Let's go on a two-game winning streak, all right? Baby steps, baby steps. Let's go on a two-game winning streak, Rockets. Okay, let's do that. Let's win at least two more games before we lose another one. Okay, let's do that and end the season with a bang. Okay, Student of the Game podcast. Oh, oh, I'm saying Student of the Game podcast. Guess what? Please hit the like and subscribe button. All right, Student of the Game podcast. Peace.